in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen greetings of peace and joy dear sisters and brothers archbishop francis xavier one to one he was the archbishop of the diocese of zaigon in vietnam two weeks after his appointment as as the archbishop he was arrested by the communist government in vietnam and he was put behind bars for long 13 years he has written a beautiful book the testimony of hope this was a spiritual exercise he gave to john paul ii when he was the pope and the papal curia in the year 2000 in this book archbishop describes and narrates how he experienced christ presence in that prison he writes when i was arrested in the year 1975 a tormenting question dominated my thoughts will i be able to celebrate the eucharist the thought that passed through his mind was this will i be able to celebrate the holy mass in the prison and you see how he invented ways to celebrate what he considers as as most important in his life He writes when i was arrested i had to leave immediately with empty hands the next day i was permitted to write to my people in order to ask for the most necessary things clothes toothpaste and i wrote please send me a little wine as medicine for my stomach ache the faithful understood right away they sent me a small bottle of wine for the holy mass with a label that read medicine for the stomach aches they also sent some hose which they had hid in the flashlight for protection against the humidity the police asked me you have stomach aches yes here is some medicine for you i will never be able to express my great joy every day with three drops of wine and a drop of water in the palm of my hand i would celebrate the holy mass archbishop van to van made his palm the chalice and the pattern with three drops of wine and a drop of water he would celebrate the holy mass when the lights went off with the prayers that he knew by heart He writes this was my altar this was my cathedral it was true medicine for soul and body medicine of immortality remedy so as not to die but to have life always in Jesus my dear sisters and brothers here is a man who was in the jail for long 13 years but then came out victoriously alive because he was receiving every day the bread of life he writes this when everything was lacking eucharist the bread of life was uppermost in our thoughts when everything was lacking eucharist was in my thoughts and he quotes john 651 if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever and the bread that i will give for the life of the world is my flesh if you get chance get this book and read beautiful powerful testimony of the archbishop with that backdrop of that courageous archbishop van to van let's look at the first reading of the day we have the first reading taken from the first book of kings chapter 19 verse 4 and the following where we see the journey of prophet elijah from mount carmel to mount horeb what is mount carmel mount carmel was a place where prophet elijah took on the prophets of baal 450 plus prophets of baal he alone single handedly took them and challenged them challenged them to say to eve your god accept the sacrifice let him bring down fire 
and consume these offerings. But then that did not happen. And when he offered, when Elijah offered the sacrifice, that was consumed by fire from heaven. So he courageously stood for the faith. He took on the, the, the mighty, strong prophets of Baal. We see him as a courageous prophet there. And after that, what we see, when, when Queen Jezebel threatened that I am going to kill you as you slaughtered my prophets, this prophet was filled with fear. The fear gripped over him. Now he is running to save his life. That is a passage today we have. From Mount Carmel, he is running away. And as he runs away, listen what he says. He says, it is enough now. Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. He is tired, he is frustrated, he is giving up. And he sleeps, sleeps under a broom tree. And as he was sleeping, an angel of the Lord comes and awakes him and tells Elijah, eat and drink. And the angel of the Lord brings bread for him and water for him. Elijah eats and drinks and sleeps again. A second time, again, the angel wakes him up and the angel tells him, arise and eat, else the journey will be too great for you. And he arose and yet and drank and walked in the strength of that food 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb, the mount of God. My dear sisters and brothers, God provided for the Israelites on their journey from the slavery to the promised land, manna, so that they may have the physical nourishment to reach the promised land. When Elijah was fleeing from Queen Jezebel, from Mount Carmel as he was running to Mount Horeb, the Lord provided them, provided him with food. Listen, the angel says, eat and drink because you have a long journey to go. And with the strength of that bread that he ate, he, he traveled long, the long journey. He walked the strength of 40 nights and 40 days to reach Mount Horeb, the mountain of God. The Lord strengthened him with the bread he gave. So we have two backdrops to consider today's gospel. Backdrop of Archbishop Francis Van Tuan who celebrated the Holy Eucharist in the jail, keeping the host and the wine in his hand. We have the backdrop of Prophet Elijah, who was fed by the angel with the bread and water. Now let us come to the, the Holy Gospel. As we know, we are continuing the journey through John chapter 6. John chapter 6 is all about Jesus teaching the Eucharist. Today, we, we reflect from John chapter 6, verse 41 to 51. I read a few verses from the today's gospel, verse 49. John chapter 6, verse 49. Your fathers yet the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat of it and not die. Lord once again takes them back to the manna, manna which the Old Testament people yet. Though manna was a wondrous bread the Lord gave, but they died. Manna could not give eternal life. Now the Lord says, I am the bread of life who came down from heaven. And what is the difference between manna and the bread of life? If you eat of this bread of life, you will not die eternally or you will have eternal life. You will have eternal life. The Lord is making a promise there. Your fathers yet the bread, manna for the physical nourishment. I have come as food for your souls that your souls may not die, but will have eternal life. He goes on to say, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. The bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. Dear sisters and brothers, let us pay attention here. 
the lord says i am the living bread the bread came down from heaven he is a living bread we know jesus was born in bethlehem the word meaning of bethlehem is house of bread he who was to become the bread of life was born in the house of bread and now he claims this i am the living bread meaning this bread has life the holy eucharist has life whenever we come to the eucharist when we sit before eucharistic adoration when we receive the holy eucharist on our tongues on our hands we are receiving christ himself jesus alive we are receiving the living bread this bread has life therefore eucharist is not a thing my sisters and brothers he is a person this the the person of jesus who came down to this earth who was born son of mary is there when we receive him in the eucharist so he makes that claim i am the living bread which came down from heaven if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever that is life eternity with the lord we will live for eternity with the lord when we receive the lord and the bread which i shall give for the life of the world is my flesh my flesh i give you as your food at the last supper jesus took the bread in his hand and said this is my body broken for you he gives his body as our food his blood as our drink how to apply this passage to our life we said about francis archbishop francis van to van the nourishment he had for the long years of his imprisonment he says was eucharist jesus in the eucharist on the journey to to mount horeb god fed elijah with the bread that bread is a prefiguration of the holy eucharist that bread is a prefiguration of the holy eucharist now when jesus in the fullness of time makes that claim i am the living bread every time we come with holy mass let us have this awareness as the mother church teaches us holy eucharist is a source and summit of christian life we are also in a journey from mount carmel to mount horeb mount carmel represents our strength our anointing our faith there are times we are full of life and energy grace and anointing but there are times we feel like elijah tired frustrated no energy no drive no motivation there eucharist comes as a medicine for our souls another word for eucharist is viaticum viaticum means the food the food for the journey eucharist is always the food for the journey when i receive holy eucharist i am nourished my soul is nourished if my soul is nourished my body and mind mind will draw strength from the soul dear sisters and brothers let us make one decision that i am going to participate in the holy eucharist with a devotion with faith with love because that is a place jesus is feeding me with his body and blood let us have that reverence to receive the living bread which is the flesh of jesus amen god bless you dear friends divine spark youtube channel is the humble effort of satyagiri dominican retreat house to preach and teach god's word far and wide if you are watching this channel and if you have been blessed to buy this channel we request you to share the good news with others by sharing our youtube t- videos our sunday sharing with your friends with your family in your parish in your friend circle god bless you